This is Mrs. Rossi, and welcome to my outside classroom. Boy, do I have a treat for you today. I have gone on a very adventurous nature walk, and I have found some really cool specimens that I want you to check out with me. You have these big acorns. Must have come from an oak tree. We have rhino beetle exoskeletons. These guys have a really cool life cycle. I have a variety of rocks, all a little bit unique and different. I'm really excited to pull out my rock and mineral book a little bit later and to further identify what I've got right here. You can see I've got some feathers. I think these are turkey feathers. Again, something really cool that I want to research and find more information about. And I have a deer antler. I thought that was a pretty cool find on my nature walk for sure. I have so many cool and unique things in my collection, but I can't really tell what I have. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. I need to think of a way that I can organize my specimens so I can really understand how much of each I have. Think, how can I organize all of this stuff? I really loved your thinking, and I think some of you are correct this time in using a frequency table. A frequency table uses numbers to show how many times something occurs in a collection or set of data. The number of times something occurs is its frequency. Let's take a look at our frequency table. Let's first take a look at our acorns. We have five acorns in all. So let's show five acorns. One, two, three, four, five is our slash and five. Let's take a look next at our rhino beetles. We have seven rhino beetles in all. So we'll go to our chart to show the number seven. One, two, three, four, five is our slash six, seven, and our frequency is seven. All right, on to our feather count. We have six feathers in all. So let's show six on our chart. One, two, three, four, five is our slash again. Six, our frequency is six. Next, we move on to our deer antler. We have one super cool deer antler. That's an easy one. We're just going to show one and a frequency of one. And finally, we have rocks galore. We have 11 in all, and I can't wait to study more about these. So marking 11 is going to be a big number right there for us. One, two, three, four, five is my slash. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten is my slash. And one more makes 11 with a frequency of 11 in all. And there you have it, guys, a frequency table. This frequency table organizes our Nature Walk collection like no other. We can easily see what we have. For example, how many acorns did we collect? Or what is the difference between feathers and deer antlers collected? We could ask the question, what object did we collect the most of, and what object did we collect the least of? You could even ask the question, how many objects were collected in all? Now that you've learned about frequency tables, if you want to, you can go out and explore nature on your own, collect some objects, and test out your skills at creating a frequency table. All right, till next time, guys. Bye.